Hey, hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. My name is Troy and today we're going to be customizing the new Dominator FX Police Interceptor in GTA Online. <laughs> Hey guys, how's it going? This is our second car this week. Uh, the new Dominator FX Interceptor. It's based on a Fox Body Mustang, for those of you who don't know. Uh, we actually got two cars today. We got this, which we're going to be customizing in a second. And we got the Impaler LX, which we customized a little bit earlier. Um, that was quite a cool car. It's like a cool 70s sort of classic interceptor car uh, but now we're going to be customizing the uh, new dominator fx interceptor and for those of you who are not a fan of the sort of street uh, sorry the interceptor version don't worry we are going to be getting a civilian standard version of this and to be honest you can actually remove all the police parts and make it into a civilian version if you want to so I'm going to be building it as a police car because we're going to be getting a civilian car in the future. Uh, but let's take it up to the custom shop and see what kind of parts are available. So yes, we've got another Dominator in GT Online. Everybody's been asking for a Fox Body Mustang for ages and Rockstar have finally given us one. And they've given us a police version, which is very cool. Uh, so let's go ahead and customize this thing. Before we do, I'm just going to change up the primary color to something a little bit brighter because it wasn't very easy to see the options on the last car we customized. So don't worry, we will be changing that up later, but we'll go ahead and leave it just like that for now. Engine, sorry, arch covers. First of all, we can go for extended arches. We can go for plastic bolt-on arches, or we can have primary bolt-on arches. Not a fan of either of those, so we're going to leave that. We'll go for full armor, full brakes, and we go to bumper options. So front bumper to start with, we can have the stock bumper. We can have that with a little plastic lip down the bottom there. We can go for the sport bumper. We can go for the grated bumper. We've got the tuner bumper. The race bumper, the race bumper with lights, that is cool. And the package race, I like that with the sort of little lights in there. That is like a very 80s sort of interceptor kind of look, so we'll go with that. And bear in mind that all these options will most likely be available on the civilian version as well. Obviously not the police lights and stuff. But most of the bumper options and stuff will probably be the same. Uh, the rear bumper option next. We've got the Sport bumper. The Tuna bumper. We can go for a wheelie bar. And we've got a wheelie bar with parachute. If you want to build this thing into a drag car. Uh, I'm going to just leave it stock actually. I think it looks quite good just stock. Engine options. We don't have any visual stuff which is a shame. But there we go. Um... Exhaust options next. We've got this sort of standard twin exhaust down here on the driver's side. We can go for quad exhaust, so you can have them on both sides. We can go for twin chrome tip. We can go for a race exhaust, which is sort of the same but angled. We've got the hot ring exhaust out the side there. We've got titanium hot ring. And we've got fender mounted, which is coming out of the fender. And it does come out of both sides. That looks a little bit unusual. I am going to go for this one. The twin chrome tip. That looks kind of cool. I'm going for like a... I'm not going to build this into a Mad Max Interceptor. But I'm going to go for that sort of style I think. Because that will look quite cool. Uh, grill options next. So we have this sort of slatted grill. We can go for a primary version of that. We can go for grated grill. I don't know what the difference with that is. We can go for painted grated grill. Oh, it's just sort of smaller slats. Uh, we can go for the badged grill, so you can actually make this thing look like 
a dominator if you want to. We've got the painted badge grill and we've got the letterbox. So you can actually make this thing look a bit like a Sierra Cosworth if you want to. Uh, that's quite funny. Um, hmm. Not really sure. I quite like this one, the letterbox grill. That actually does look kind of cool. It does make it look a bit more like a Sierra Cosworth to me. Yeah, we're going to go for that. Um, the hood options next. We've got the standard hood. We can go for a ridged hood, which just sort of adds some little <laughs> ridges in there, I guess. We've got the ridged intake hood, which adds an intake on top of a cowl, which I always think looks a bit weird. We've got the low cowl hood. We've got the high cowl hood. We've got the twin vented hood. We've got the turbo cover. And we've got race vents. I actually just like the stock one, so we're not going to touch that. Lights next. This is not the flashing lights. This is just the headlights. We will be able to change the flashing lights later on. Um, so we're just going to leave those standard. Livery options next. So these are the same as you've seen on all the police cars. If you watch my uh, Impaler LX interceptor customization earlier, then you will have seen these options already. They're just the same. Um, but we've got the... We can actually go ahead and remove it. So if you want to build a civilian version now, then you can technically do that. And it'll just have all the police stuff on the interior. Or if you're going for like an undercover build. But we can go for the standard LSPD one. we got the State Trooper. We've got Highway Patrol. we got County Sheriff. We've got Port Authority. So this is actually a different one. Uh, okay, that's unusual. So this is the uh, Port of Los Santos. That's pretty cool. we got LSPD Light. we got State Trooper Light. LSPD Highway Patrol Light. We've got Los Santos County Sheriff Light. And we've actually got a beta version. That's quite cool. I wasn't expecting that. So that is not on the um, Impaler that we customised earlier. Um, I quite like this one. The State Trooper. What's the difference with the State Trooper Light? I don't know. Um, oh, I see. So on this one, the the writing is in white. On this one, it is black, which makes sense. Okay, uh, well, I'm going to go ahead and paint this black again later. So I guess we'll go for... Do I like this one, or do I like this one? No, nah, we'll go for this one. Uh, that looks pretty cool. I'm actually quite liking the grey with the white. It doesn't look too bad. And I wasn't even planning to have that. There we go. Mirror options next. We've got the standard mirrors. We can paint those uh, in primary. Or is that, that secondary? Because the white is the secondary. So we can paint those secondary. We can have square mirrors. We can have those in secondary as well. We've got vintage mirrors, which are chrome. We can have those in... Secondary as well. We've got race mirrors. we got those in secondary. Then we've got the import mirrors. And we got those in... Sorry, they're in plastic. And we can have those in chrome. I like the standard ones. And I don't like them in the secondary. So I'm just going to leave the standard mirrors. Police equipment. So this is where you can change up the light bar on the top. And you can add search lights as well. So, standard, we have the two lollipop lights, which I absolutely love. I think it's such a throwback to the sort of 80s, 70s and 80s police cars. You can go ahead and fully remove them if you want to. Um, you do still have some flashing lights. So, the back lights will flash if you want this as like an undercover vehicle. Or if you're going for a civilian build, then uh, I guess you can remove the lighting. Uh, we've got the more modern kind of style. We've got a modern style with a different speaker in there. Or they're a little bit more round instead of like angled. 
And then we can go for the sort of 90s um, Crown Vic style lights. That is quite cool. I wasn't expecting those. Um, I'm going to leave the standard ones because I think they look pretty cool. Okay, the searchlight options next. Uh, we can go ahead and add in some basic searchlights, which are sort of folded down. We can have a single folded, which is the primary colour as well. We can go for a one single raised one. We can go for dual folded searchlights in primary. We can go for a driver raised and passenger folded. Or we can have them both raised. I'm not really a fan of those on this vehicle, the searchlights, so I'm going to leave those off. Uh, respray options we will come back to, but we do have primary, which is grey, secondary, which is the white part, and we do have trim, which we will come back to. We can add a roll cage to this thing, so it's not letting me go to the interior view, so I can't really show you that very easy. But you can see it cages out the back. We can go for a half roll cage, which unusually is a full roll cage, and the full roll cage, which does actually go through the dash if you want to. Uh, I'm not going to go for those. Skirt options. You could match the skirt to the front bumper here. So we've got the stock skirt. We can go for a street skirt. We've got a carbon version of that. Then we've got the sport skirts. We got a carbon version of that. We got the race skirts and a carbon version of that. We got the flush skirts, which just extends the body line. Uh, we've got the tuna skirt and we've got the intake skirt, which adds a little intake down there. I'm just gonna go for the street one, just so it sort of matches matches the front bumper there. I think that looks quite good. Uh, spoiler options, yes. It was looking a bit weird without a spoiler, I have to say. We can go for the bolt-on lip. That is the tiniest lip I've ever seen. We've got the ducktail spoiler. That looks a little bit better. We've got a large ducktail, which is almost like a drag wing style. We've got the sport spoiler. We've got the rolled lip spoiler, which sort of follows the body line. We've got the race spoiler, which is just sort of a bigger kind of version we got the bridge spoiler that's quite nice we got the tuna spoiler we got the actual drag spoiler and we got a painted drag spoiler it's a shame that we don't have a sort of um sierra cosworth style you know whale tail for this like the rapid uranus used to have in San Andreas, but there we go. I'm going to go for the um, ducktail spoiler. It just needs a little bit of flare at the back to sort of balance it out. We've got those fog lights and the grill going on at the front. And now we've got a little spoiler at the back there. Looks quite good. Sunstrip options. Not a huge fan of sunstrips, but we'll run through them. We've got plastic. we got primary. we got secondary. we got carbon. And we've got a vapid one, which I wasn't expecting. It actually doesn't look terrible on a police car, but I'm still not a fan of it. Um, suspension options. We do get a fairly decent drop, and again, this will be the same, I imagine, on the civilian version, so you can get a bit of an insight into what kind of drop you'll get if you're building that car. I'm just going to go for like one click just to remove a bit of arch gap, but I don't want to go crazy. If I was building it as a street car, of course, I'd go for full competition, but on a police car, it just doesn't look right. We'll go for full race transmission and turbo tuning, and then wheel options. Now, these wheels are sort of similar to the real-life uh, Fox Body wheels. I think I like the sort of like stock-looking ones, these ones. But then we can go ahead and we'll paint them black. Yeah, that looks pretty good. I like how that looks. We'll go ahead and put bulletproof tyres on. We can add some tyre lettering. I don't think it really looks right on a police car, in my opinion. We'll go for a bit of light smoke tint as well. And that is all the customization. Let's just go ahead and paint this thing. I think 
Hmm, what will it look like in red with the white? Might look a bit weird, to be honest. Life is hard when you can have anything. Yeah, it doesn't really look like a police car anymore. But if I was painting this thing, I would go for red. Like if I was building it as a civilian vehicle. Let's run through the colours and see what looks good. The gold actually doesn't look terrible. And the bronze as well. Um, the yellow would look good if it was a civilian version. The blue like this actually looks kind of cool. I actually like that. A surf blue. Yeah, we'll go with that. And... Um, We'll just keep the white white, I think. And then we can go ahead and change up the trim. It changes everything on the interior. I'm not going to do that. Did the secondary change the colour of the stitching? Yes, it does. So the secondary does change the stitching colour. But I want to have white on the door. So there we go. That is my full customization of the new Dominator FX Interceptor. Like I said, we will be getting a civilian version of this, but you can technically build it into a civilian version if you want to. But we'll go ahead and take this thing out onto the street. We'll check out the flashing lights, open up all the doors and stuff, and see what kind of performance it has. Okay guys, here we are outside in the Dominator FX Interceptor. It's absolutely awesome. I've already gone ahead and crashed it, but I really, really like the blue with the white. I think it looks absolutely fantastic. The state trooper and the lollipop lights on the top. I just love how this thing looks. I think it honestly looks better as a police car than as a sort of street version, in my opinion. But let me know what you guys think. Let's go ahead and uh, drive this thing around, see what kind of performance it has feels a little bit sluggish i'm not going to lie it takes a little while to pick up but once you get it going it does have a decent amount of speed it does handle quite nice as well obviously it is sort of a sports car like a muscle car sports car so it does feel quite tight is the way to put it i guess um when you steer left and right it actually goes where you point it some of the other muscle cars don't do that so yes i do like how it drives i think it looks absolutely fabulous and of course the lights actually do work so we've got the lollipops go in there the rear lights flash um i don't believe the front lights flash no they don't um, but the rear lights and those top lollipop lights do work of course the siren works as well so that's pretty cool but let's go ahead and open up all the doors and things have a look around the vehicle so here we are with all the doors open it is a two door vehicle so you can only take one friend with you so that's something to bear in mind if you're going to use this as like a heist vehicle especially if you want to use it in the new um, clucking bell heist it is only a two door uh, the engine bay doesn't look great to be honest it is very very low detailed i wish the valve covers at least were a little bit better the front of the engine block looks absolutely terrible um and the brake booster in there is very poor um but there we go most of the uh, vehicles in this update haven't had very good at engine customization the radiator doesn't look terrible doesn't look terrible and i guess that's because you see it through that sort of post box style grill so they wanted that to look half decent. The interior is um, very, very cool, I have to admit. Um, there's the two shotguns up the side there. We don't have the laptop in this one, which is very good, uh, in my opinion. It looks a lot more period correct. We've got that old style kind of radio. We've got a cool old steering wheel as well. I absolutely love the interior. It's really, really cool. And in the back, just like we had in the... Impaler LX, we've got some police gear, we've got a um, bulletproof vest and a baton in there. So yes, it looks very, very cool. We've got some bumper stickers as well, which I didn't notice. Keep your distance, drive safe. So would I recommend that you guys buy this thing? In my opinion, absolutely yes. I love the look of this thing. I think it's got some really good customization options. 
Um, it sounds absolutely fantastic. We've been asking for a vehicle like this for a long time and we've got one with police customization right now. So what more could we really ask for? Um, but that's going to do it for today's video. Let me know what you guys think. Are you going to be buying the new Dominator FX? Uh, the interceptor or are you going to wait until we get the civilian version let me know down in the comment section let me know what you think of my customization do you like the light blue with the white i think it looks kind of cool it looks like a california kind of police livery in my opinion but that's going to do it for today thank you all so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video